Rocket Knight Adventures development was headed by Nobuya Nakazato, who had already turned heads from his work on Contra 3 the previous year. He would not be involved with the sequel, however, and instead went on to lead development for Contra Hard Corps. I've noticed that basically everything he worked on was great. And interestingly, whatever series he worked on usually started to go downhill after he wasn't a major part of the development team. He would go on to put work into a lot of Konami games, but he mainly worked on the Contra series. The last game he led development on was 2002's Contra Shattered Soldier. The last time he was involved in the development of the game was when he was the producer for 2009's Contra Rebirth. He's still around, as he had a minor role in the quality assurance department of Metal Gear Solid V. Personally, I really like his work and would love to see him return to game development again. As far as any beta or prototype stuff goes, there isn't much out there due to the game's obscure nature. However, I was able to dig up a few things at least. I was actually able to find a prototype ROM of the game. I couldn't find much different from the final game, however, although there was a level select screen. All in all, I think I may have just been a review copy. Still pretty neat, though. For my investigation, I did find a few interesting pictures. There was one from what I presume to be a magazine, which has a picture of a much more intimidating version of the first boss. What was more interesting, however, was that I was able to find a few images of what may have been early designs for Sparkster. The first one is... alright, I guess. I do kind of like the jetpack design, though. But here's the second. Ugh. I don't know if that's an early design or not, but if it was, I'm glad they didn't go with that one. While I couldn't find much, I'm glad I'll still be able to find some stuff. I always enjoy finding these kinds of things. Thanks to the Rocket Knight RP forum for hosting these images, I probably wouldn't have found them otherwise. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. As we head out to stage 3, it's a lava level. And, again, it's actually not that bad. Like, this, this game this game is actually not a dick. And you may notice, you can see Sparkster's reflection in the lava. That's actually going to mean something. We're going to get to a really cool thing this, that's done in this in this stage. Uh, uh, be very careful. Uh, don't go unless you know you're gonna be fine, because the lava is a one-hit kill. So be very careful. But you're gonna see here, there's platforms that, like, we don't know where to jump. But if you look down, you'll see there's platforms reflecting in the lava. Yeah, this is cool. You use the reflections in the lava to judge where you're supposed to go. This is cool. Yeah, did I mention this game is cool? Because it's cool! Okay, so the lava goes up. Just gonna wait for it here. Just be very patient. Very patient, you say? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, be careful about that. Yeah, you need to be more patient than I was because I still, I still clipped it. That is a little- that's a- I mean, that's a little bit janky, but not really. <sighs> it- It's just- that was really just a mistake on my part. <sighs> Hopefully that won't be the first of many. Granted, I'm not- I'm not absolute ass at this game, so... Hope- so it shouldn't be many. Uh, the life does come back. Let's not do that again. There we go. That's more like it. Okay. Just gonna wait. Uh, here we go. Just made a little error. Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, here's the part I struggle with. I'm not good with the water parts in this game. Like, the water physics is 
is a little weird for me. I would say this part actually is kind of... Ugh, I don't like this part. Like, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing ever, but... I've seen much worse, but... It's a, it, it's kind of, it's a little annoying side. Mainly because of these fish. Like, these fish, I'm pretty sure are infinitely respawning. At least you can kill them in one hit, but... It's, it's... Not the best. Not the best thing. Good. Good. No, 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 I want that, I want that! Well... I think it's the equivalent of bashing my head against a rock 1800 times. That was not worth it. Actually, actually, well, actually, the net gain, actually, I got a net gain, so maybe it was worth it. <laughs> okay, well, and now we descend. And we're gonna have our mini boss for the stage here. It's a crab thing. Crab bot, I guess? Eh, I don't know. I usually just go for this leg to, and twice, and then this this one's gonna come at you. You, uh, you, you, use the stand, you use the stand still attack. And fend him off. You can only get like one hit on him, but it doesn't matter too much. But you can do it. You can do a lot of damage this way. This may again maybe isn't the quickest way of doing things. Like it might not be the most efficient, but it's 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 the way I came. It's the w method I came up with. So it's it's what I'm doing. That arm goes away kind of quickly. Oh, I didn't quite go for it that time. So not. But yeah, he's uh, he's pretty he's pretty easy. There we go. And now we go. Now we go for here. And suddenly we're not in water anymore. So we got this thing, this walker-like thing. Where are we? Where are we jumping on this? And again, please fasten your seatbelts and return and return to the upright position. <laughs> this, this is an interesting part. I kind of like it. Again, like this game is really creative the way it does a lot of stuff. Okay, gotta wait a little bit. These fucking owls, though. <laughs> I don't- I- I am not a fan. Ugh. I don't know, like, like, sometimes the, like, the way the walkers move around feels a little weird. I don't know. Okay, careful. Now, interesting note, the lava here is not an instant kill. Just bring that up. Which is a good note, considering what we're doing in this boss! And it's a fish robot. Darius intensifies. Ow! That's a good start. Okay. Yeah, that's the most annoying part, really. Here he's going to send out like a bunch- he's going to pull a bunch of fireballs, just pay attention. And sometimes he, he, he brings out bananas, so that's a easy. Guy pops out! You gotta hit him! That's how you're gonna damage him. The rest of it is just, is just platforming. Granted, it's, it's complicated platforming, because watch how fast these platforms go. Uh, he's... This, I recommend going on the right side. It's easier to hit him this way, I think. So, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. <sighs> he's not done. Uh, he's not come up this side. 
when you when you see that, that's a sign to just get the hell out. Uh, it's kind of hard. To, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. I mean, after all, the platforms are going so fast. Uh, yeah, if you get him, if you hit him on, like, every opportunity, then, if you hit him on, like, every opportunity, then this should take about three rounds. As it does. And that is another round complete. Shut up, Java. That's for the blooper reel.